oh hey hello welcome welcome if you're an oldie but goldie welcome come on in if you are new my name is louise pentland i'm a women's fiction author and also i make lots of videos about motherhood and lifestyle and this week is primark week um you might have come new to this video today um, and not know that there's four before it because every day this week i have been uploading videos about primark I might just shut that window because my neighbors are using power tools there we go, luckily it's not baking, baking hot today, but the heat wave, I'm coming to the end of my patience with the heat. I know a lot of people are like, don't wish it away. I'm not wishing away necessarily like the sunshine and the good vibes, but I am wishing away just feeling sweaty all the time. It's nice to feel dry today. So today's theming is accessories and me bits. I'm not sure how I'm gonna title that, um, but I put together all the bits um, out of the other sections. So we've had, um, oh, what do we start with, homeware, beauty, um, Disney, kids, and now this one. So uh, this is just little bits and pieces that I've picked up for me that could have maybe fitted into other slots, but I'll show you what I mean. Let's just get cracking. So the first thing is from the beauty range. I'm not quite sure why I've put it in there. I think because I know that I'm going to use it for my bits and bobs when I'm traveling, uh, but it probably should have gone in the beauty range. So we're making a brilliant start. And it is these two silicone bottles that you can use to decant things. You know when you go away and you can only take a certain amount of liquid, why, A, why so much plastic packaging, and B, why so hard to open, please? My God. Can't even get it out of this. Literally broken the bottle trying to get it out of this plastic. Am I, oh, it's screwed in. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's literally screwed in. Um, Basically, I travel around a lot, like as you're watching this now, I'm actually on book tour um, and so I don't want to take full size things. I'm now starting to think, this doesn't feel like super secure. I don't trust that that won't leak, you know? Like, hmm, not sure, that was two pounds. And I'm going to say I, I wouldn't recommend you buy it. Most things I feel confident to say, yeah, give that a go, but uh, we've not started off on a good foot. Let's find something else. Something you can't go wrong with at Primark is the basics. You can't go wrong with little cami tops. So I bought this one for three pounds. I have bought it in a size 16, and normally I would go for an 18 or a 20, but I think they didn't have it. And I, but I really liked the like lacy detailing on it. I just thought that was really sweet and would look really nice under um, shirts and things. But I thought I'll just stretch this over myself in the really flattering and appealing manner. For two pounds, I bought this lovely big sort of soft t-shirt. I really like this color, this kind of like mauvey lilac color. It's super, super soft. I like that it doesn't have any labels at the back to scratch about and annoy you. Um, and I just thought this would be like a good staple to have with jeans or shorts or whatever. Things are about to get thrilling. For one pound 80, a black cami top. For two pounds, a white t-shirt with a scoop neck. I mean, I'm not talking about these for long because how how much chat do you need about a white t-shirt? I don't know. This is part of a pajama set. I actually bought these ages ago. You might remember in a weekly vlog, I was wearing the pajama top to these. The bottoms were, um, oh, hasn't got the price on them, but they're super, super, super soft. And I thought the fabric looked a little bit kind of calf kids -y or jewels -y. So I picked those up and thought, come autumn, when I want like posh, posh pyjamas. Like these are lounge wear, so they're better than pyjamas. You know, if you like mooching around the house, um, but they're not really like going out clothes. Sometimes whilst you're in Primark, especially if you're in Primark with a friend and you're in the sales section, you can make some questionable choices. And I would say that this visor is potentially one of them, or a genius choice. I'm going to Florida um, in October. I don't like wearing hats. One, they make my hot, my head hot, and two, my head is enormous. Like, it's like a giant potato head, and all hats look silly on me. But this is the best bit that you want about the hat, which is the shade, but without the head topping, isn't it? So, what do you think? <laughs> Could I wear this round Florida? I feel like you can wear anything in Florida. Uh, but what do you think? As I've said many times before, I have carpet that eats hair bubbles and hair clips. I put things in my hair 
and then I'm assuming they just drop out my hair and then the carpet eats them and I never see them again. In my lifetime, and I don't think this is an ex exaggeration, I think I've bought over a thousand Kirby grips and that's not exaggerating truly. I think in my lifetime I've bought over, oh, over, over a thousand Kirby grips or bobby pins if you're American and I am currently living off the last four. Where are those 996 other Kirby grips? It's the same for hair bubbles, so I thought I'll not be defeated, I'll just buy two giant packs of 60. There are 120 hair bubbles here, and I'd, where will these go? There's borrowers in my house. These little socks are the greatest little socks I've ever found. They're called Lace Footies, and they're £2.50 for two pairs, and they're just brilliant. I've bought these in like a moody colour as well, and if you have like um, ballet shoes, those invisible socks or trainer socks like come up your foot, up the like flat of your foot, you know the top of it. These though don't, they are literally just covering the sides of your feet and they don't slip off because they've got a little bit of like what um, strapless bras have, a little bit of like sticky, they're really good. Plus they have a little bit of like sticky on the bottom so that you don't slip and slide all over your house. I love them so much. For £1.50 I bought a black twist bandeau. It's a headband. I bought a headband. Um, I think these are handy for when you're doing your makeup and also at night time I sleep with my hair in a top knot and if I put it in a top knot with one of like these bubbles I get the kinks but if I just put it in a top knot loosely with one of these, no kinks. That's a top tip for you there. A life hack. A hair hack. Slip slops, as I like to call them, or flip flops, as everyone else calls them. These were six pounds, and they are jazzy. Look at those. You know you're a mum on holiday when you are wearing a tasseled flip flop. Ooh, I bought a t-shirt that says weekend. Um, I also bought a t-shirt that says Sunday on it, but I wore that on Sunday and spilt stuff down it, so that's in the wash. Uh, but I did go into a shop and the man behind the counter said, have you got one for every day of the week? And I didn't realise that I was wearing it and I just looked at him like, what are you talking about? Um, so when I wear this, I'm gonna be like fully ready. Maybe, will you help me think of a comeback? So have you got one for every day of the week when I'm wearing this? What should I respond with, please? Because I don't know what's a witty response to that. Um, more footies, but clearly I've ripped this package open ready to use, uh, £2.50 and these are like the more neutral coloured ones. And then onto the fun stuff, the jewels, the jewellery. So for £3 I picked up these, I could have worn those for this video, they would have looked really nice. I think they are so cute. Um, I do find, because I've got a lot of tassel earrings, that they all come apart quite easily so I never really want to spend a lot of money on them, or maybe that's my problem if I spent a lot of money on them would they be better quality? Uh, but I never want to spend loads on them because I think, well, if you're going to fall apart, then I don't want to waste it. These reminded me of, like, what I used to like a long time ago. They're two pounds. I was like, oh, that is so, like, 2012, Louise. Um, and I bought them because I thought, oh, they'll, they'll look nice. And I really like things with pearls in. Um, and then these, I think these were a good choice. For two pounds, um, they are feathers obviously, um, and with sparkles, and I thought they would look nice, but I've not, I've had them a while and I've not once thought, oh I should wear those today, because what would you wear these with? They're quite fancy, but also quite a lot, I don't know, help. And last, but by no means least, this pack of nine earrings, nine pairs of earrings for two pounds, I thought these would be super handy, because they're the kind of ones that you can just wear every day for all sorts of things um, or if you wanted to like wear them on a night out and like put loads of other jewellery on I thought they were nice so there we are. Right there we go that wasn't the most thrilling of hauls I will say I think if I had to pick my favourite haul for this week it would definitely be the beauty one um, I would actually be really interested to hear which your favourite one is um, and also as I have to say in every video my book is now out um, I'm currently touring Today, which is Friday, I'm in Sheffield and Leeds, and then Saturday, so tomorrow, I'll be in Milton Keynes and Market Harbour. So if you want to come to Milton Keynes or Market Harbour, um, I think there might still be tickets available for those, but if not, I hope that you pick up the book and give it a read um, and let me know what you think. 
thank you so much for enjoying this week well, i hope i'm assuming or hoping that you enjoyed it let me know if you would like me to do more weeks of things and if so what shop or what genre because i'd really be up for it and i will see you on sunday at 9am for the weekly vlog thanks for watching bye